On today's menu, Aki. Oh, yes. Mm, mm. Across the globe, what's delicious mm. is questionable. Why would you eat that? Excuse me. Welcome to Jamaica, Bot. We've got reggae, relaxed social norms about public ganja consumption, and delicious Aki. Hey, uh, real quick, legal Truly I'm going to read some disclaimers to absolve the company of any liability. Hit um, me. Warning, consumption of unripe Aki fruit or some parts of ripe Aki fruit can cause sickness or death. Mm-hmm. So... I'm gonna go to the hospital. See you back here in a second. Aki is a member of the soapberry family, which includes other weird fruits such as the longanberry and lychee. Aki also happens to be the national fruit of Jamaica, but Aki is actually not native to Jamaica. Hey, can we get back to the sickness and death thing for a second? Hey, hey, hey. Don't f***ing rush the narrator. I'm too high for this, man. Aki is indigenous to West Africa and was first brought to Jamaica in the 18th century, most likely aboard a slave ship. Win. But since its introduction to the Caribbean, Aki has become a staple of the region's cuisine and a major part of Jamaica's national dish, Aki and saltfish. Now it's important for Aki to ripen naturally, because when it does, it splits open, revealing plump yellow flesh that clings to the glossy black seeds inside. Uh, warning, only the yellow flesh is edible, the seed and rind are highly poisonous and should be discarded. Oh, that's the only part I ate. That stuff ain't bad. A warning, if the ackee fruit is not fully ripe, it may still be toxic. Be this. It's just a drawing of a dick. I got bored. Because of the precarious nature of a fruit that is sometimes yummy and sometimes fatal, the importation of ackee fruit in its natural state into the United States is forbidden. However, at the moment, canned and prepared ackee is totally legal. Several Aki orchards responsible for supplying the U.S. are in Haiti, and after that nation's devastating earthquake in 2010, there were very real concerns that hungry refugees, unfamiliar with the precarious fruit, would unknowingly poison themselves. Hmm, yes, but why would you eat that? Hey, that's the title of the show. Sure, unripe Aki contains the toxins hypoglycin A and hypoglycin B, which can cause an extreme drop in blood glucose levels known as Jamaican vomiting sickness, which is not the same thing your mom gets after drinking too many daiquiris. Hey there, Papa. I will ride your mustache. This can lead to drowsiness, cold feet, vomiting, <laughs> bad performance art, and in severe cases, collapse, coma, and death. Kill me with a fruit, I'll haunt your ass! all from a weird little fruit. But on the flip side, the fruit is extremely rich in essential fatty acids, protein, zinc, and vitamin A. It's time to poison the office. Legal would like it known that it's not actually our intention to poison the office, and any poisoning that does occur should be considered an act of God. Thank you. And just make sure that you do the, the hazardous activity section at the bottom. Too. Oh. What was that whispering that's happening over there? <laughs> Sign things down. Yeah. Makes sense. Don't eat a lot of it. Don't eat a lot of it. That's comforting. We have to I eat mean, it first. Yellow is not intimidating. Truly, don't eat that. Fine, we'll focus on you guys. Here, no, I'll, you I'll have to eat, eat that. I'll eat it with you. It's fine. Okay. Why are you telling him not to eat it if we're eating it? We have enough footage of me eating already. Baked potato with butter on it. Like a garbanzo bean. You know What's what it taste good? like? I don't even know. Like, it's just on my tongue. It's I don't the want to do anything with it. Stop it. It's the consistency of, like. I'm sorry, you were running late, so we just went ahead. They already ate it? Wait, what? Yeah. They're not supposed to eat it until I got here. Are you we, a doctor? That would be okay. This is my friend Barbara. She's an actress. She's going to help us out today by playing a nurse. In case anyone gets uh, a little Jamaican vomiting sickness. So I'm gonna go again. It's okay if you need a second piece. Um, you might want to just take your time to yeah. make sure that it's, it's okay. Do you guys sort of feel upset stomach or anything like that? Just let me know as soon as possible. Are you feeling it? Okay. How's it taste? Well, don't eat too much of it. Don't eat too much? No. Why? What's it gonna do to us? I mean, we were gonna have them sign releases afterwards. After? Like, it's. 
I mean, it's fine. It's yep. a poisonous fruit. What? You're fired. Are you feeling nauseous or anything? I don't know. Now like she's my tongue is swelling up. Now she's paranoid. Do you feel like your tongue is swelling up? No. <laughs> that's, not, that's not funny. <laughs> You're not going to tell us what it is? That? Oh, it's Aki. It's what? Aki. Aki. Oh, it's a Jamaican fruit. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, it's toast poisonous uh, when it's not right. It's <laughs> like poisonous how? Uh, it causes Jamaican bombing sickness. <laughs> what are they Jamaican? No. Homeschooled! If you start vomiting, that's when we'll know that there's a problem. But that's not gonna happen. It's fine. That only You'll happens. be fine. That only happens if you eat like a, a larger amount. Why of it. would you have us eat this? Because it's fine. Like it, it's fine. But but why do people eat this? Yeah. Why would you eat this? this? Thanks for the plug, lady. But like, how much you have to eat to be? Well, you probably should eat it. Right. Okay. It's a little fast. Yeah, you're getting a little pale. Yeah, I feel a little tingly now. You do? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is that I'll go do the old yeah. Real. <laughs> no, that's that's actually worse. Oh man. Yeah, no. Try to just just relax and drink water if you start to feel any more sick. Sweet. Um, and especially if your tongue starts to feel itchy, you really want to. Let's go drink some water now. Yeah, it's probably good. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna drink some water. <sighs> Are you a real nurse? <laughs> I I feel like you just stage these things specifically to freak me out. For some reason, I got a feeling just you were in on it. No. The dies that live, man. Listening to Buffett. Go on a flip flop. Click subscribe, ruin a child's birthday party, and come back next week for more Why Would You Eat That? And talk to us on Twitter at hashtag Why Would You Eat That? Suffering from nearsightedness, baldness, or impotence? Why Would You Eat That? has your snake wine cure. Tune into Star Chef Secrets to see how Foundry Super Chef Eric Greenspan makes his award winning grilled cheese. Do you like food? Do you like blowing stuff up? Do you like food and blowing stuff up? Tune in to Taste Explosions to see what we're blowing up next. Did you know Flaming Hot Cheetos turn your poop red? Learn more major breaking food news each week on Food Feeder. How about some armpit fruit salad? It's got a porcupine shell and smells like turpentine, rotten onions, and gym socks. Yum. On Amazing Food Tricks with Jill, learn how a simple slice of bread can be used to clean up broken glass.